Welcome back. Uh, more than 400 people now confirmed dead after this massive earthquake that rocked the Iraq-Iran border. Thousands sleeping outside in the cold for a second night, too afraid to go back inside because of strong tremors. Uh, Kitty Logan is live for us in London with a look at your international headlines at this hour. Good morning, Kitty. Good morning, Heather. Well, yes, the search for survivors goes on after that devastating earthquake which hit on Sunday evening close to the Iran-Iraq border. Now, the worst damage is in the western Iranian province of Kerman Shah. Rescue workers there have been sifting through the rubble in the hope of finding people alive, but say there is little chance left now. And after tens of thousands of homes were destroyed, families are sleeping outside in the cold as aftershocks continue each day. The Iranian government has promised to offer them support. Of course, many people were inside buildings when the powerful 7.3 magnitude quake hit. As you say, over 430 people now are known to have died and around 7,000 injured in that quake in both Iran and Iraq, although most of the wounded are reported to be on the Iranian side of the border. Now, of course, Iran sits on a major fault line and has experienced devastating earthquakes also in the past. For example, 2003, 26,000 people were killed. Now, in other news, President President Trump has said he has spoken to Chinese President Xi Jinping about three basketball players from the University of California who've been detained in China on allegations of shoplifting. Now, these three players are being questioned by police in China after their arrest on November 8th, and they're currently not allowed to leave the country. But President Trump says he has had positive talks with the Chinese leadership, and he's hopeful those players will be coming home soon. Heather. All right, Kitty Logan live for us this morning with your international headlines. Thank you, Kitty.